Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of DSP Tries It during a festival celebration. And ladies and gentlemen, this time around, we are doing something weird. I mean, seriously, this is going to be a weird one. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, <laughs> to be very frank and honest with all of you. Okay, this is something that I saw many months ago, and it was like, huh? And I couldn't believe it existed. But yet, nevertheless, it does. People have asked for it for a few months, and finally I decided today I would try it out. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to try out Jack in the Box Tiny Tacos Loaded Edition, meaning this is the one that's supposed to come with a bunch of extra stuff. It's not just plain tacos. They come in what looks like a Chinese food box, to-go box, okay? And just so you know, five bucks. For this okay five dollars now a little bit of background about me and Jack in the Box and tacos so when I first moved out here over six years ago to the west coast of the United States Washington State in particular Jack in the Box was everywhere and I was like wow this is a, a franchise of food that's not on the East Coast at all I had never eaten Jack in the Box so I had some and I liked the burgers and I actually like the fact that they have the choice between regular or curly fries but one of the things that was exclusive to their menu was fast food tacos. Now you say, oh, what about Taco Bell? Well, right, Taco Bell specializes in that kind of Americanized Mexican food. But a burger place that does tacos is weird. So I was wondering what they were, and I got them. I, I think it was like two for a certain amount of money, like two for a dollar or something like that. So I ended up getting these tacos. And what they ended up being was this very, very deep fried shell um, the best way I could describe it is it wasn't like a taco shell. It was more almost like you ever had a, um, taquito. It was like a crunchy taquito shell, but it was shaped like a taco shell with this greasy ass meat in it, like pure grease. You could see the grease seeping through this deep fried taco shell, um, and some cheese and lettuce on top. It was almost devoid of flavor when I bit into it, okay? It really didn't taste good at all. It was very bland. And I was like, all I could taste was a mouthful of grease. And I thought it was absolutely revolting and disgusting. And I never ate them ever again. So that was six and a half years ago when I moved out here. Okay. Um, I never even did one on DSP Tries It. Because I thought it was so disgusting. I never wanted to try that again. Okay. <clears throat> so. When I heard that Jack of the Box was doing tiny tacos i said oh god now can you imagine what these are going to be like i don't know we're going to see together firsthand but for what i'm to understand because i got the deluxe edition these tiny tacos are supposed to have other stuff like sauces on it as well as like lettuce and stuff in there i guess we're going to find out all right i don't even know how many come in here in this this box very weird now also they come with a special dipping sauce it's called creamy avocado lime sauce and they gave me three of them. Three. Not one, not two, three. So I don't know if they think there's so many tacos in here, you're going to need a ton of dipping sauce, but that's a rarity. Usually, when you go to a fast food place, they skimp on the sauces. They gave me a lot of sauce. So I'm curious if the, if the sauce is any good. The other thing is, if these are very, very bland, like the regular taco, maybe you need a ton of sauce to actually give it flavor, and that's why they give you a lot. Okay? Now, they also gave me a fork. I don't know if we'll be using this or not. I don't know how you're supposed to eat a taco with a fork. That's a first for me. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is open this box <laughs> and see what we've got inside. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> look, it doesn't that just look absolutely appetizing to you? Oh yeah! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! It is absolutely gross looking. I mean, they basically took the shredded lettuce that they probably put on certain sandwiches 
and they dumped it on top of these tiny tacos, and then they poured sauces on top of it. I don't even know what that is. What are those sauces? I... <laughs> Holy shit. Kubi Contract says, or Kubi Contact says, now we, oh no, Contract. He says, now we know why they gave you the fork. Yeah, how the hell am I supposed, oh my god. What the hell, dude? Well, the first thing I will do is attempt to eat something off the top and see, like, maybe what this, look at this. Why? Why would they do this? So this is lettuce with, with some kind of sauce, right? Oh my god. I can't even like for here. I'm gonna try to eat this. Oh yeah. I love hot lettuce. So that's weird. Spicy. It's a spicy sauce. It's like really spicy. This is just bizarre. Now here's a taco itself. It's completely soggy. Look at this. It's completely disgustingly soggy. It's dripping. It's gross. It's absolutely nasty. <laughs> yes, I'm actually going to try to eat this thing. Are you guys ready for this? <sighs> Here we go. God. Well, first of all, I feel I should show you what the other tacos look like now. Look at this. I'm going to get the camera to show it. There's, I can't show it. What the hell? There's cheese sauce between the tacos. Smeared all over them. Okay? Cheese sauce. So what it looks to me like they did. They took these tiny tacos that were plain. They put them in the box. They take a cheese sauce and squirt it everywhere between the tacos. And then a hot sauce. And they squirt that all over the tacos. And they toss lettuce in it. And that's your box of tiny tacos. You can see the cheese all over it now. See that? So when I ate it, I tasted a ton of cheese sauce. That's what it tasted like. A ton of cheese sauce. And it tasted exactly the same as the, the ground beef from Taco Bell. That's exactly what it tastes like. So if you like Taco Bell standard tacos, this is close. It actually tastes like the same cheese sauce and the same ground beef from Taco Bell tacos. But it's not good. Like, Taco Bell tacos are not great. In fact, I think the regular Taco Bell taco is disgusting. The only way you can really have it make it edible is if you make it like deluxe. The, what do they call it? The Supreme, where they add tomatoes and sour cream and all that. Then it tastes a little better. The standard Taco Bell taco is just salty and gross. Okay? So... Yeah, now now I'm going to have one more, and then I'm going to try the sauce that they gave me for it. But I want to, this one here is absolutely saturated in sauce on both sides and has shit dangling all over it. So I'm going to try this one. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. All I can taste is the meat and salt. And that's it. Like, even though they did actually actively try to put more stuff in there, you can't taste. All you taste is the salty meat. That's it. So there you go. And you know what? I got a little bit of an aftertaste of, like, the tortilla. Because, you know, the tacos are made of this tortilla shell or whatever. I had a little bit of an aftertaste of that. Okay. And that's about it. By the way, thank you guys. A bunch of people have cheered for a hype train. Thank you. I'll give shoutouts after the, the episode ends. So that's the loaded tiny tacos. Now, 
creamy avocado lime dipping sauce. Okay. <clears throat> Can't even get it open. It smells tangy. Okay. It has a, a tangy smell to it. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Okay. Maybe this will actually add additional flavor to the tiny tacos and make them better. Um, I'm going to do this on the plate so as not to make a ginormous mess in my office, which would be disgusting. Although I guarantee you that my office is going to smell like, like these tacos for about a week now that they're in here. Okay, so I'm going to take my fork and try to stab a taco. Okay. I did. It actually went right through. Look at that. And I'm going to try to <laughs> dip the taco in the sauce. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't have enough shit on it. I'll take a bite off the end. So, I don't taste any avocado whatsoever. They're acting like, oh, avocado sauce on a taco must be like guacamole, right? Oh, fuck no. This does not taste like guacamole at all. Okay. It's got a creaminess to it, but the creaminess itself tastes more like, like, like mayonnaise or something like that. And it does have a tang to it, but it doesn't taste like lime either. It definitely has a tanginess and a creaminess, but there's no actual flavors of avocado or lime in this sauce at all. Exactly what I thought would happen happened. Look, a piece of the taco broke off into the sauce, making a huge mess. So now I have to touch it with my hand. And now it got all over me, which is exactly what I knew was going to happen. I mean, good lord. Ugh. So. <laughs> wow. So I mean, what, four? Three? I wasn't counting. Shit. I don't know how many I actually ate, because I wanted to count how many you get. There's a lot in here. And, and honestly, there's a lot. I see another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. There's nine more in here. Holy shit. Yeah, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten more in here. At least. At least. Now, here's the problem, though. Okay? As you get closer to the bottom of the box, they're crammed in there. And the ones at the bottom, I can tell you, have no sauce or anything on them. Everything is crammed in at the top of the box. So the further in you eat, the less flavor you'll get. You'll just get the, the, the saltiness of the meat. And you won't get any hot sauce. You won't get any cheese flavor. It's all loaded on the top half of the box. So just the way that they give these to you, it's not great. Maybe it would be better if they, like, did it. Maybe they have your tacos and they gave you all the sauces and you can combine them yourself or dip them yourself. But... This is just a big mess, is what this is. A giant mess, okay? Good God. I, I knew this was going to be weird. I didn't think it would be this weird. This is bizarre. So, oh my God, look at this. So, oh, it dripped off. I'll have one just like this, then I'll have one more with sauce. See, I almost got a hint of hot sauce flavor, but then it's just completely overpowered by salty, salty meat. That salty instant meat that they make. What is it? We may not, you may not realize this. The meat at Taco Bell is not real meat. It's dehydrated, and they hydrate it by adding water, and then it becomes like the meat you get in the taco. It's not like real ground beef they make there. And so, uh, oh my God. Only Ice Coffee just just dropped a 20-sub bomb, if you guys can believe it. Holy crap. You're going to start seeing pop-ups any moment here, I bet, on the stream. So thank you for that. Oh, it's Only Ice Coffee. They're going to probably start popping up any moment here. Um, so, they all seriously, they're making an effort to make these have flavor by adding all these sauces, cheese, 
it literally just tastes like that dehydrated salty meat from a Taco Bell taco and nothing else. Maybe a little bit of tortilla flavor for when you bite it. It crunches. You get that little bit of tortilla. All right, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to dip into the sauce here, okay? And then I'm going to give you my verdict. <clears throat> and by the way, to remind you, $15 for what appears to be between maybe 10 to 15 of these. I've eaten four or five now, and there were still like nine or 10 left in the box. So it's about 10 to 15, I would say, in each box. Maybe it's just how many they can fit in there. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Whew. One more. <laughs> one more. for the, Do it for the team, right? The team effort. Fuck. Okay. Avocado lime sauce. Yeah, right. Zero avocado, zero lime. Just creaminess and a little bit of tang and tons of salty taste of the meat and that's it. That's it. No other flavor. I'll tell you this. Even though the sauce isn't what it claims to be. Even though the sauce isn't what it claims to be. Okay. It actually does complement the flavor of the, of the salty meat. Because it gives it a creaminess and a, a tanginess that it doesn't have. It beats, it cuts through the salt flavor and gives you some variety in flavor. I would even go as far to say they purposely made this to make this better. Because they knew this by itself was almost devoid of flavor. Even with all the sauces on it, they knew this was almost devoid of flavor. Okay? My God. What restaurant is this? Jack in the Box. Now, I don't even want to... I don't even want to think about what health factor this is. Like, can you imagine 15 small fried tacos with a bunch of shit piled on top and then a creamy sauce on the side? This has got to be like... This alone has to be at least 1,000 calories for your day. And it's probably mostly fat calories because it's mostly deep fried stuff, right? I can't imagine... This, they should call this the artery buster, right? They, <laughs> this will this will definitely clog your fucking veins, man. Like this is bad stuff right here. Um, I cannot recommend. First of all, before I review it, I can't recommend that any human eat this. This is bad. Okay, this is way bad for you. D the concept of fifteen tiny tacos is insanely bad for you. I can't, I'm, I can't recommend anyone try it. All right. Now, actually talking about reading the flavors, okay, it's not horrible. In fact, I would go as far to say these actually, for me, tasted a little better than I remember the flavor of that taco that I ate six years ago. And I think the reason is because I'm not eating a big-ass taco and I'm not biting and getting an insane giant mouthful of these ingredients. It's little digestible bites, you can fit one taco kind of in your mouth, okay, and that's okay. It's not, oh my God, it's just bland, bland, salt, salt. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I do taste the loaded version. I do taste a little bit of the cheese sauce in a couple of the tacos, and then others I didn't at all, probably because the cheese sauce, there's no possible way that this could could be covered in cheese, the entire thing. Um, just this, the idea of putting them in a box like this, there's no way you're going to get even distribution of the sauces and the lettuce. And the lettuce is a joke. There's absolutely no reason to put lettuce on this at all. I think what it is, they wanted to present it as a truly different product than the plain ones. And they don't want to make the excuses, oh, we just took two bottles of it and squirted all over it. They want to act like they did something to it, so they sprinkle lettuce in there too. When in reality, that lettuce adds absolutely nothing to these tiny tacos at all besides a mess a big added mess okay the other thing that i think i should call out i'm moving this around actively look i'm shaking it i'm doing stuff with it they're not moving you notice that right <laughs> they are so caked in there with grease and sauce they're not look there's no they are like one one congealed unit in there that is fucking nasty that is really bad okay the sauce itself is not creamy lime avocado sauce. 
That is, excuse me, creamy avocado lime sauce. That is cream, like the creaminess you would taste from a mayo, and a little bit of tanginess. It doesn't taste like an avocado or a lime. But this sauce does complement the flavor of the taco, which is overpoweringly salty meat. So <clears throat> that works well with it. I would say if they ever did like a burger, they were going for like a wet, what are they, what's the one, like a California burger where they actually add an avocado on a burger and they put this sauce on there, it would actually probably go pretty well. But it's not, it's basically completely fake, okay? So $5, the thing is, if you were to actually sit here and eat all 15 of these things, this actually might be quite filling. This is a lot of food. And I would say it's on par with a giant burger that you would get for like $5, okay? So, for me, number one, is this something that I would actively, uh, it's $5. Did I say $15 earlier? No, no, this is $5. Not $15, guys. My bad. Did I say $15 earlier? No, no, no. $5. It's $5 for this. To make it clear, I don't want anyone to get a misconception in my review here that it's way more expensive than, I, than it is. It's $5. Okay, for all of these and the sauce. So, first of all, plain versus loaded. It's nice to have cheese sauce and hot sauce in there, but the lettuce is terrible and it's too messy. They definitely should have done it separate. They should have had it, if you want it loaded, we'll provide you with hot sauce and cheese sauce to dip them in. Forget the lettuce. This is an awful idea. I would think probably the plain is, a, is an easier uh, experience to eat. And wouldn't be as much of a pain in the ass and a giant mess. Okay? Just saying. So, I'm going to go with, if you're going to get them, I would maybe get the plain, not the loaded, because this is a huge mess. Um, value, $5. It is a good amount of food. 15 of these little things for $5 is not, not bad. But quality is bad. These are terrible. They, all you can taste is salty meat. It tastes exactly like the Taco Bell meat, which does not taste good, by the way. Um, the sauce does not taste like as what they say it is, even though the sauce complements it. It's still, it's still not a great taste. Let's put it that way. Is it bad? Oh my God, my stomach, I'm grossed out. No, but it's not a good taste either. It's kind of like, meh, if you want cheesy saltiness, mess, grease, you can get this. But in my right mind, there's no way I could recommend this to someone to go to Jack in the Box and buy this. This is asking for a fucking heart attack in a box. And it's also absolutely disgusting looking, and it's not good tasting. So I'm going to give the Jack in the Box Loaded Mini Tacos a 1.5 out of 5. It's that bad, okay? And the only reason it gets a 1.5 actual value, it is a good amount of food for $5. It's heavy. It's a lot of them. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> if this box were, like, not even full to the top, this would be, like, a 0 out of 5. So that is terrible. Do not eat. I'm glad that's not that's not all that I bought because I'm hungry and I don't want to eat any more of those. I'm going to go have the sandwich that I actually bought. But for DSP Tries It, the Jack in the Box Loaded Mini Tacos, 1.5 out of 5, absolutely revolting. Stay away. Thank you guys for watching. DSP Tries It. I thought you would like that episode. I'll see you next time.